Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode 116. This one I'm viewing the 906th episode of the series, Strike, the Magician and the Surgeon of Death. This episode adapts pages 2 through 11 of chapter 918. There's like two major things happen this with one minor thing that's connected to the, the big one. Okay. With this one, we have picking up where we last episode left off. We see Luffy using the red, the red hawk. The where he has his arm cut with hockey and him, and turns out flames. I'm still wondering how the heck he can do that. Punching Hodum, knocking out to the ground. This caused much ruckus. While in the case of, and of course he does catch Tom before she falls to the ground. And and of course Zoro is stealing the cart. Of course, well him and Otaku basically on this cart. Of course, Luffy runs, beats up, the, beat, beats up a bunch of guys of Hodum's goons, and then they come across speak. Of course, they think it's a horse. Hops on, wraps him. Like, he's like, who's this? Who wraps her arms around me? <laughs> of course, the half horse, that woman. So, Luffy says to Tama, hey, can you use a little piece of your cheek, toss it in her mouth? Like, I don't know if it work on a human. It's like, okay, give us a thing. And, of course, she sniffs it. Of course, oh, this looks delicious. She eats it and becomes Otama's basically her servant right away, and she's oh, and she only does to Otama, not the freaking <laughs> Luffy. And Luffy refers to her, even though her name is Speed, he refers to her as Horselina. <laughs> okay, and of course they race up and they get to the cart, no problem at all. And of course they get up there. Speed, of course, even though she's on the treasure ship, she's nowhere seen after this. Yeah, I think she's on the ship someplace. They don't say where she is. Luffy takes a bit piece of the meat. Like, sort of, he chews and he swallows it. He, it's like he just swallows it before he chews. And he realizes, oh yeah, I forgot something. So he stretches out his arms and went to go get something. I'm not sure what the heck he's going to go get. I mean, he's, he made me go getting the the Yokozuna's, his, uh, his sumo wrestling championship. Because he did defeat him. And probably got his title of Yokozuna. <laughs> it's possible. What's the other big thing aside from that? Well, we have Law taking on Basil Hawkins, which takes up a good chunk of the episode. And of course, Basil figures out right away, thanks to Law's stance and his freaking tattoo in his hand, which says death. They figure out, yep, this is Law. He doesn't say right away, but he does know this is Trafalgar Law. Of course, Law tries using his source, use the word room. First of the whole area basically comes surgery room, and he uses sword to slice up, try to slice a, ba a basil. He's like, okay, after a couple times, like, what? What the heck happened here? And it turns out, well, he transferred all the sh the stuff to his his from from his last time with Luffy and Zoro. Like first he uses the the amputation thing, which goes goons. Then he uses the injection shot and goes another one was goons. Like okay, so he decided to slice up all of his goons. Like, into pieces, but keep them all alive. Thanks, of course, to his devil fruit. And they fight for a pretty good period of time. Of course, he uses his, his sword, transform into a straw sword. Which I would think, though, a straw sword would not work against a blade sword. It would be sliced to pieces, but it's a pretty powerful sword. And then coming right by, and of course, Law here, here's what with Hold'em. That Hold'em is taken out by Luffy. So, of course, he, Luffy, and of course, everybody runs over them. It's like, Luffy's gonna, he gonna yell at them later. Well, he doesn't know Luffy's there. He does yell Rowan Ozora for this. And of course, well, Jack has been informed about this. Yeah, Jack is making a return. First time since the Zoo Island arc he's been seen. Because he was, he, he wasn't even mentioned last arc, but they mentioned Kaido a few times. But not freaking Jack, one of his disasters. It was Jack, Queen, and King. They actually did share a chapter once. I'm like, did he name these three, did he, did he get these three guys, like, near after playing card names? A King, a Queen, and a Jack? The queen is a guy, not a woman. Mm -hmm. So he goes on the ship after he nearly runs him over. And he walks up the runner and say, "What?" And of course, he grabs him by his komodo. He is, he, of course, he tries to talk to him, and that's the episode. Yeah, overall, really good episode. But we're not going to continue with this next week. Oh no, because next week apparently is going to be the 20th anniversary of the anime. So, okay. We have a special next week, an adaptation of Romancing Dawn, the pilot for the original pilot for One Piece, which I'm looking forward to. That. And it looks like, though, one one of the pirates, who's one of the villains in this one, looks like it's 
garb. Maybe it's a reuse, basically, design. Old is known for doing that. Mm -hmm. But this overall was a fantastic episode. Looking forward to next week's special, Romancing the Dawn. Which, now in case you're wondering, is there another chapter release of the manga this week? No, it's on break. It did not come out last week. And, well, actually, it's, it's not going to resume until Sunday. Well, it's gonna come, next chapter is going to come out tomorrow anyways. Even though I'm recording this on two, Thursday, I should have done this. You're probably thinking, maybe I should have done this on Sunday. But I was out of town, and I didn't have my lab set with me, so I couldn't exactly do it then. So, yeah. That's it for this particular review. Next review, will, next video will be a comic corner, be a dark horse NTC trade. Yep, one is one of them is a library trade. The other course is a trade I own. And then pretty much after that, there's still about four more animes I'm gonna do. Next anime I'm gonna do, and of course I'm gonna still do Baruto, Fairy Tail, Black Clover, and Seven Deadly Sins. Of these four, only Black Clover has got a new chapter of the manga release this week. Yep. In the case of Bart, I think next chapter comes out next week for that one. Seven Deadly Sins taking week off, and Fairy Tale the main series is over, but I'm still planning eventually viewing the future. So uh, the Uncensored Quest, I probably view that as series of specials just to basically review what's going on in that particular thing in the near future. I'll probably do that probably tomorrow or probably Saturday sometime soon. Okay. But until the next video, we'll be at Comic Corner, okay? See you there. Bye.